16 signs you just might be a white supremacist. If you use the phrase politically correct on a daily basis, if you actually believe reverse racism is a real thing, if this doesn't offend you, but this does. If you don't live near black people, don't work for black people, have no real contact with black people other than television, yet you choose to spend your time bitching about black people. Even though 83% of white people are murdered by other white people, you never use the term white on white crime. And instead of talking about that, you instead want to talk about so-called black-on-black crime, because it affects you so much. If you have ever cut and pasted moronic talking points from some white supremacist website, if you have ever or are ever planning to vote for Donald Trump, if you've ever uttered the phrase, we're losing the country, it's not the country that you lost, it's your mind. You have plenty of time to whine about violence in South Chicago, where you don't live, have never been to, don't know anyone who lives there, and would never go, but you don't have a word to say about the daily mass shootings by white males, which does happen where you live. If you claim not to see skin color, but the second a black actor is cast in a certain role, you immediately notice. You brag that all the black people are in jail, then try to argue that black people control everything. You see white males dominate business, government, finance, media, and religion, then claim that white males are oppressed. The only examples of black excellence that you can think of are the NBA and NFL. I would add to that that white men own the teams and make hundreds of millions of dollars off of black athletes who work for them, yet you refuse to admit that this proves the society limits the opportunities that blacks are allowed to have. Whenever the subject of America's founders being racists and slave owners is brought up, you actually think it's an intelligent response to say they were men of their time. White males commit nearly all the mass shootings, but you have no problem when these same white males demand open carry laws. Black men, on the other hand, you love to brag about how many members of your family are in law enforcement and that they think exactly like you, yet you deny that the police are full of racists. These are just a few of them. Feel free to add more examples in the comments section.